Welcome back, viewers. Sunrise proudly brought to you by Tigo Smile. You got Tigo Ice Cool Mineral Water for the cool in you and Power Cosmetics for the beautiful shades of you. In the studio, before I go to in the studio, the minute I said in the studio, you know I'm going to introduce somebody. Before I take, I, I give you the introduction to the studio, let me make two quick uh, dedications. The first one is a happy birthday to a Rabna, a Rabna from the newsroom. A Rabna the Entertainment Dex, you, a fresh mother, you delivered, you had a baby girl, and today it's your birthday. And therefore, Sunrise and Newsroom extends you a very strong, happy birthday. May you live long, have the strength to take care of the new baby girl, and make sure the new baby girl grows to be as healthy and as strong as you are. The world is waiting for an extra hand to support in the development of Ghana. A Rabna happy birthday. And then another one that is coming, this is to Sanusi Adams. Sanusi Adams, Sanusi Adams is a wedding Fatila Jabril, Sunday, 13th January 2013, at the Mamubi, at the Echo Bank near the, uh, the Echo Bank near the Mamubi Park. And then and then we know that we have the refreshment at Old Vic. So uh, Sanusi is wedding Jibril, Fadila Jibril. In the studio for this morning, I have Ms. Ghana, USA, Hilda Frimpong. Hilda, you're welcome oh, thank to you. Sunrise thank and you. welcome to Ghana. Thank you very much. And then on the extreme <laughs> right is Gloria Opare, CEO, President, Ms. Ghana, USA. President Manikma for Ms. Ghana, USA. Uh, we, we, you, you also welcome to Sunrise. And we're happy that you have brought Ms. Ghana, USA to Ghana to see what she can do for Ghana. Let me start with you, uh, Hilda. Yes. <laughs> As Ms. Ghana, USA, when you entered the competition, was it for just for the glamour, the fame, or you wanted to achieve something with a crown when you win? Well, competing Miss Ghana USA was my first pageant. I had never competed. And um, this uh, was actually the second year when they did it. The first year they did it, I wasn't ready because I was still in school. And I wanted to focus on education and my career, which my aspirations are in healthcare. So when Miss Ghana USA came the second year, I was like, this would be a good time to highlight, you know, something that I'm passionate about. And that's something I've been focusing on since I've been, um, since I've had my title and since I've been Miss Ghana USA. So, you know, actually I had the misconception that beauty pageants were about the beauty and the glamour because that's all you see on TV. But actually working with Miss Ghana USA, it kind of, you know, kind of diminishes those misconceptions. And that's why I really like this organization. That's why I'm focused on it. You're focused on And so mm -hmm. what is your focus? What is your project? What are you looking at? I know that sometimes uh, you be a, a, a pageant, you're a queen, and then you want to raise funds to maybe take care of some poor health facilities, support the needy. What is your focus? Well, that's actually why we're here right now, so I could do what I wanted to do. I work with two organizations. The first one is called Raising Hope. It helps orphans and the less fortunate um, here in Ghana. Actually, it focuses in all of Africa, but this year they're focused in Ghana, which is great because that's, you know, I have my title this year. And um, they provide health care. Um, they provide educational needs, clothing, whatever it is. On Saturday, we actually meet with the kids, and we're going to hand out holiday gifts to them and have a party with them. And um, we send these gifts back in October. And so we actually came down here to hand it out to them um, personally. And so um, that's why we're here this time, so that's that I could do my project in Ghana. And, and let not them to, see you. Right, let and not have someone else do it. Well. Exactly. That's right. Gloria, President, CEO President, Ms. Ghana, USA. Yes. Right. So you you are down here with Miss Ghana USA. You have two projects. She has two projects. She's going to. How did you design focusing her and making sure that she's not going to concentrate on the glamour, the catwalk, and then the fate, <laughs> but rather have to give something to society? So we do get a lot of applications where girls um, can register online, but then we also ask them to bring a bio and their platform, and after they bring their bio and their platform. We read through them and go through, we read through them and make sure that 
their platform fo focuses on what Miss Ghana USA is all about and which is empowering women in their individual goals and also interest in humanitarian. So after that, we, um, select, those, we select those forms and then we give it to other people to go through and then we pick them out if we think it's... it's they, 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 they have, they have a project, they have a focus, right. and they can be of use to society. Right. And so if you... This is a second time from Hilda. This is a second one. So what did the first uh, Miss Ghana USA do? The first one. The first, Ghana, the first Miss Ghana USA, um, it was our first one, so it was kind of like just trying out to see what would really happen. So it was kind of still like a learning process. So she was again a pick. She was again a pick. She didn't have. She has she, a lot, a lot to be proud of. No, she she actually has a lot to be proud of. Um, she does a lot of things in Chicago as far as like working with kids who um, are also less fortunate. She also teaches like dance, the African culture, and stuff like that. But it's just we were not able to raise enough funds to, you know, seek the things that we needed to do. So this year, we were able to get a little bit more by um, the okay. community and supporting so means us. And so the first one, Miss Ghana USA 2011 did not come to Ghana at all? No, she didn't. She didn't come to Ghana at all? No, she, she didn't. She enjoyed her Miss Ghana USA in the US. Yes. Well, the great thing about Miss Ghana USA, it's like, it's a bridge and we get, you have the best of both worlds, you represent Ghana and the USA. Yes. And her year, she got to focus more on the USA. With my year, since it was the second year, I could do both. And I could work there and I could work here. And you're, so, very, you're very fine. PR officer <laughs> trying to hold the fence for her. Uh, no, she, <laughs> the important thing is that she did not get the opportunity to come to Ghana because she, is there, she is there as Miss Ghana USA. USA. So but she Ghana did help the Ghanaian factor. community in the She's USA. She did help the Ghanaian community in the <laughs> right. USA. The one who would allow her to take up the Ghanaian community. And that's Ghana. why I'm here. And so you are here. So you, she was a guinea pig. She created a space for you. And so now you want to say you have to cover for two people. You have to do a project to strengthen the base for Miss Ghana USA. So you realize that the, 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 the project is big. Right. Do you see that the project is yes, big? Yes, I see it's a big and it's an advantage, like I was saying, because mm. we have two countries we get to represent. There are a lot of Ghanaians my age who are kind of maybe disconnected from their culture because they live abroad. And so being able to represent both countries and being like the new generation of Ghanaians, it's really like, it's a blessing. So it's I see blessing. it as that. The beats in your neck. Do you respect the beats in your neck? That's, I love that's for this. the fashion. Yes, and just I for love the fashion or for the, for the screen. Thank no, you. All you have love. All you have love for. Accessories. It. Even accessories. No, I really, really love. I you love beads. I love, love jewelry, beads. and this one just like works really well with my outfit. <laughs> that, that's wonderful. Right. And so now, let us now look at the project. You're going to give out uh, things to the two community, the two uh, 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 issues that you have identified. Um, how did you select those two projects that he is going to work with? Well. Um we selected Beyond Aid, which kind of is in line with what Miss Ghana USA is all about. And that is empowering women, you know, through education and entrepreneurship. So Beyond Aid, what they do is they work with less fortunate women around the community by teaching them crafts, you know, using natural resources to make beautiful things. And then they teach them how to work as a team and you know move those things forward so that's how we selected them and also um, raising hope miss Ghana usa is really passionate about children especially children without parents and what raising hope does is they do what they call christmas in october and christmas in october is where they get um, individuals to adopt kids for christmas and we raise um, funds and then gifts. So in December, we're able to bring those items here and have a big party for them and hand out the gifts and spend some time with the kids just to let them know that they're also special and not forgotten. How do you maintain, how do you maintain the, the, the link that it would not be after Ms. Ghana USA 2012 has left the scene, then these this children that you're going to present this gift to will be forgotten? How do we make sure that they are not forgotten? Well, me personally, I'm an ambassador for Raising Hope, and so I will be working with them even okay. after my reign. Um, so that's how I plan on making sure that the children still maintain and um, keep. But Miss Ghana USA has partnered with 
raising hope. But per, that's a personal project for me, and as an ambassador, I'm going to continue to do it even after my title and after my reign. After your reign, after your title, after your reign. I have uh, some other questions, but let's watch something. Okay. After that one, we'll continue with the interview. Okay. Don't go away. Okay. <laughs> So that's it, you in the picture. Yes. If you right. can see, I was like standing there because I didn't realize I, they called my name. I was like, oh, I won. You see. That <laughs> took that, me a that, second to process it. That's a good point. And so now, let me now ask this question. When can one be a successful Miss Something? Is it when you have the desire, design to step out, face community, face people, or when you're humble, or uh, when you quiet, humble, gentle, and have a, feel, a fellow feeling for one another. Which one is the best attribute for a Miss Somebody? I think it's a combination of both. I don't think you could have one thing. It, uh, humility is a great thing, but you also need confidence in what you do. Sure. Um, you need to be humble, but I wouldn't be able to be doing television television interviews, walking around meeting people if I didn't have that confidence. So I think it's important to have a combination, a little bit of both. Um, everything comes in a balance. And so I would say both of them. Right. But then when you're walking out there and almost everybody, hey, Miss Ghana, you were saying, <laughs> then the, 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 the wave is done, which way? I see that the Miss, miss some things, they don't, they don't do the waving as we do them. It is done uh, uh, some, something like that. A little soft. A, 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 a little soft. But right. so when you're doing all this and, and then you see the glamour, wouldn't it take your focus from when you need to get closer to those mm -hmm. who are in need of you? Because those who are rich, those who are affluent, they would want to dress you. They would want to hold you, take you to parties, take you to functions. But then the job down there is where you need it most. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you link? Well, how do you link the two? For me, it's about foundation. It's the way I was raised. I wasn't raised on the glamour mm -hmm. and the stuff. You know, coming from a Ghanaian culture, morals, education, you know, giving back, that's important. I know where my family is. I know where my parents came from. I know where I need to give back. I know where my home is. And so for me, that's always a reminder because I was raised in that environment. So this stuff doesn't get to my head. It's like icing on the cake. It's great to have it, but it's not my focus. You know, it's nice to have a dress on and have your hair and makeup done, but I, was, I have a good foundation. I have a good family here. My mother's here right now, actually, and my parents are very supportive. So that keeps me grounded. And that helps me know like what my passion and my goal in life is. And we are very selective about the type of functions that we go to because we're not really focusing on popularity. We're focusing on what can we do as Ghanaians living abroad? What can we bring back home? And how can we, we show support to you know the different... Um, organizations who are trying to do something here. So that's what our focus is, not just glamorous and parties. And that's why Miss Ghana USA is very different from other beauty pageants. Right, and so now it looks as if, if we look at the definition around your focus, it looks very tight. Now how do you make sure that you will be remembered after you had given the crown to another Miss Ghana USA 2013. Well, I think it comes with the work that I do. It comes with the charity. I hope to make an impact, especially working with the two organizations, Raising Hope and Beyond Aid. I hope that I can make a difference where the next girl or the next queen will be able to follow or do even her own project. So I hope to set an example where she could even set the bar and so she could even exceed that bar for her. And that's how I hope to make an impact and be remembered by President, CEO, <laughs> President. How do you want Ms. Uh, Ghana USA 2012 to be remembered? I want her to be remembered as the great job that she's been doing. I mean, she's always been on the go. And she, her, her platform was, you know, helping children and healthcare. And she's really, like, done everything that she said she was going to do. We're here on Saturday going to um, Dodoa to God's Children's Home to give them their gifts, have their party. And then on Monday, we're also meeting with Beyond Aid and having um, 
a women's summit. A women's summit. So everything that you know she said she was going to do, she has executed. So I want people to remember her as, you know, she was not just all talk. She